Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I have sat here in front of you guys and I just want to say thank you guys to everyone that has subscribed. So I got sick, let's rewind back to March. There was this day in the beginning of March where I had this pain under my breast like from one side of the breast to the other side all under and in the middle and so it started around 6 in the morning or 7 and it lasted for about 2 hours and I didn't know what was going on I didn't know what to drink so I was like okay it went away I don't even know what I took I think I took like Tylenol and it worked so I was like okay I'm going back to sleep but I told my husband I had a horrible stomach ache it was weird it was strange I felt pressure it kind of radiated to my back but I didn't think anything of it however I did say that's not an okay uh, type of pain that I experienced so if it happens again I'll have to go to the hospital if it's more intense and if it hurts for a longer amount of time right mm -hmm. And that's exactly what happened. Weeks later, uh, maybe like three weeks later, it starts hurting at around 11 o'clock p.m. And this is the time your gallbladder decides to give you a flare-up. And so it started at 11, and I was like, oh my god, everybody's sleeping, my husband, my daughter, and I was just trying to get relief. Now this time, the pain was a lot worse, the pain lasted longer, it was a lot more intense, and it radiated all the way to my back, okay? So I was like, okay, I can't do this. I was slouched like this, I was holding on like this, and I felt like, even if I did this, like, that even made it hurt more. So I was like, okay, I think this is that moment where I need to go to the hospital. It's, um, one in the morning or was it two? I think it was two in the morning, guys. I just couldn't take it anymore. Again, the pain was worse, more intense, and more symptoms. I was nauseous. And I said, I have to go. So I wake up my husband. I'm like, look, you got to take me to the hospital. I'm not feeling well. The pain is back. It's worse. It hurts all along under my breast, my rib cage. I don't know. I can't breathe. I couldn't even walk. And he's like, all right, let's go. So fast forward, I get to the hospital, I explain my pain, and they're like, well, it sounds like you may have gallstones. So I was like, oh, no, no, don't tell me that. So I was like, okay, whatever. And they're like, so we're going to draw some blood and we're going to do a ultrasound. Sorry, if you guys ever see me kind of like zoned out thinking, <laughs> it's because in my brain I have like a little SD card that I have to like compile all these <laughs> All this information and all these things that I want to get to you guys, so don't think I'm kind of crazy. And so anyways, they run their test, come back, they give me medicine that works for these gallbladder uh, flares. And sure enough, the doctor's like, okay, well, it looks like you have sludge. And I was like, sludge? So she's like, in order to get your gallbladder removed, you have to have at least one of these three things. So she said one that I don't remember gallstones and sludge she said you have sludge so basically what it is is like sand in your gallbladder right it's like teeny tiny crystals and over time and eventually it will form into stones okay however i wasn't there yet at the stone phase yet so she's like yeah you know you're gonna have to talk to your doctor and you know get a surgeon and i'm like oh whoa wait <laughs> like that fast like no like treatment options, no nothing, right? So I was like, okay, well, this is an emergency department. Um, they're not the surgeon's office, so they really can't offer me any treatment options. All right, I go back to my doctor. I make, um, they referred me to the South Bay surgeons in the South Bay, South area of Los Angeles. And I get my doctor's appointment and he's like, okay, well, you have gallbladder sludge. And I'm like, okay, so is there treatment for that? And he's like, well, the thing is, once there's something wrong in your gallbladder and it's causing you discomfort and it's causing you issues, it's just best to take it out. There's really no point of you trying to get rid of the sludge. Once it's bad, it's bad. So you could get rid of it. It'll come back and then it'll get back to stones. And then, but again, how are you feeling? 
so I'm like okay so for the past year year and a half maybe I want to say I've been experiencing a lot of digestive issues I never had heartburn I started experiencing it I never had bloating I felt like I was nine months pregnant and a lot of indigestion with like flatulence air um, and again the whole heartburn was horrible like I would go days sometimes I would go even weeks with feeling all of a sudden like I could take anything to try and get it controlled or rid of it it was just like fire like a flame in my throat it was horrible so then I'm like look I can't, I don't eat fried food because I have gastritis so um, you know I try to limit that and spicy stuff as well I said, but there's been things that I've noticed that I've eaten my entire life and all of a sudden I'm getting bloated, I'm having heartburn, um, my stomach gets bloated and like I'm not liking this, like digestive issues. So he's like, okay, yeah. He goes, so then it seems like even though it's just gallbladder sludge, um, it's giving you problems and there's really no reason why you should uh, keep it there. He goes, I mean... It is what it is, you know? So he's like, do you want to have another uh, ultrasound, you know, to see if it's still there, to see if... And I'm like, nope, let's just take it out. I was terrified of getting another flare before my surgery and having an emergency situation, which is horrible. In the back of my head, I'm like, okay, it's March. My daughter don't go to school until August-ish. So yeah, let's do this as soon as possible. Um, let's get it over with and in the meantime I was doing research like can you get rid of gall sludge uh, can you know the whole gallbladder stones the the health of the the gallbladder should you take it out should you leave it like there was so many opinions out there and I'm not gonna lie I was having second thoughts okay but again the way I was feeling I was not willing to keep on having these flares and lead to an emergency so i was like no i i'm just gonna do it in the midst of all this i found the bear pantry show that's the name of the channel here on youtube i definitely recommend that if you're considering or you just want some supportive channel content that gives you their experience on the gallbladder situation the surgery getting it removed the whole nine yards of the recovery and everything definitely go follow the bear pantry i will have the link somewhere or the name of the channel here again the bear pantry i went into tiktok i went into youtube i went into google i try to educate myself the most i can the more information i have to know about my condition is just my nature to want to know what i have and what i can do and what helps and so of course i found remedies i found menus i found books of you know what to eat when your gallbladder is going to get removed how to eat where to eat what to eat and you guys get the point if you need supplements or whatnot so during the time that i started developing the whole bloating situation i didn't have pain okay my pain from the gallbladder sludge came in march i didn't have pain prior to that however the digestion digestion issues were present since about a year ago okay and my sister recommended that i take some probiotics and i was like okay so definitely i picked up some probiotics and i also picked up uh, papaya enzymes because I already have um, what is this thing called my mind just blanked out um, gastritis and gastritis is irritation of the stomach it gets irritated it's swollen um, it, depending on how bad it is it can bleed okay so I was like okay I got the probiotics and I got the papaya enzymes and it definitely did help my heartburn my bloating and what else my digestion right definitely helped something i'm still drinking today okay even after getting my gallbladder removed i still drink probiotics i still drink um papaya enzymes period <laughs> um so okay that was it 
and there I see my doctor and he's like okay so we got to prepare you for surgery we have a couple of things we need to do you know pre-op um, that we need to get done before you get the surgery just make sure everything is fine okay so there's a few things that I had to get because of my health so basically I had to get my blood blood drawn to make sure my anemia was okay which was kind of fluctuating during those days and I had to get my heart checked and I had to get my cardiologist to um, authorized authorize the procedure so then I'm like okay gotta make calls gotta make rearrangements for my surgery I had to push a bunch of my appointments that were already coming I had to push them back push them back and I got maybe like five appointments in one month okay echo EKG and so my appointment for my surgery got delayed I had to get my surgery in June okay June 23rd was my scheduled day for my surgery and I had to push it back because then they ended up wanting to doing do some other tests sorry if I kind of slutter um, they wanted to do some other tests and I didn't have the appointment for those things soon before my surgery and so we pushed it back July 19th okay so July 19th comes and I'm like oh my god should I do this should I not everybody's gonna tell you their experience and honestly it's just um, everybody is different everybody's gonna have different reactions and honestly in my opinion I'll tell you guys at the end I'll tell you guys at the end um, so anyways okay surgery day comes our relatives were infected with you know what so I was not able to drop off my daughter my surgery said uh, my surgery center said I had to be there at 5 in the morning okay so I got there at 5 30 and they prepared me I did have to go by myself because again I couldn't drop off my daughter Henry stayed home I said bye to him I drove myself was I anxious uh, kind of but honestly I was just more excited to get this situation addressed over and done with with the stress that my daughter was going to start school so okay done I get there they check me in they had me um, I believe they had me pee they did a, a pregnancy test which negative and they prepared me they started you know like asking me my questions what procedure we're having what we're doing if I have any preference uh, and my questions about what medicines I drink what health issues I have and everything in that category of preparation for the surgery so yeah I was wheeled on over to the surgery I was already like knocked out I didn't even know when they put me to sleep so I got into the actual room the surgery room surgical room and after that I just remember being awake for like five seconds and I was gone upon waking up I started experiencing pain in the incision sites which I'll show you guys a video you guys will see it um, I have one two three four little holes uh, I believe the biggest one is probably about an inch and a half and that is through where they removed my gallbladder it was a laparoscopic procedure which means they only do four little incisions uh, one right on the rim of your belly button so it kind of hides one right above around your the middle of your stomach area up above and then two of them to your right okay two teeny tiny ones maybe about a centimeter big they're very very little so immediately after that they just gave me water to see if I was gonna be able to tolerate it my surgery was probably about 45 minutes long it was very quick um, what else then they started giving me water I tolerated that well then they gave me a little ice pack because I did start feeling uh, incision pain or stinging. I'm going to call it stinging because that's what it felt like, stinging. Uh, they did cover it with like some medical grade tape, like a complete tape. It was completely sealed so that you don't get um, any moisture, any soap or anything like that into the wound and get infected. So then, yeah, they gave me my medication. They gave me, through the IV, they gave me medication and antibiotics. Sent me home, I want to say it was like 11.30 or 12. 
uh, perfectly fine. I walked out of there by myself because again, my husband had to stay home. And yeah, I came back home. And once I was home, I, I was afraid, okay? Because I think all of us end up being afraid of that. And that is like, you're eating because my doctor didn't really tell me anything about my eating. And I just went off whatever I read. And I was actually terrified. I read and again, don't always go for what you see online. I'm number one in that. So it's okay to read, but don't anticipate things until you're there and then. Because that was in my situation. So because of that, I was like, okay, well, I have to eat light things because my stomach's gonna take some time to adjust to not having a gallbladder. So a few days before I went to the hospital for my surgery, I did prepare my house for like recovery foods, which was uh, jellos, pudding, rice pudding, tapioca pudding, applesauce, crackers, just light things. Cause I, again, I did not know what to expect. And reading online and seeing everybody's experience, it was like, well, I guess I won't know until I have this procedure done what my body is going to um, behave like. So I was fine. Um, now, quickly, before I forget, when you get this procedure done, what they do is they inflate your stomach with some sort of gas so that they can look correct, they can look correctly into your organs and that air lasts in your body anywhere between the day of the surgery and even up to five, six days, okay? It can last that long. I had it, um, it was very uncomfortable but I did pass air and that really helped get rid of the bloating because there's really no anything that you can really do to get rid of the excess gas to help it leave your body. Uh, so yeah, that, that was like the most uncomfortable thing. My stomach did feel a little bit big for quite a few days. My clothes was very, uh, it felt very like tightening Again, there was swelling in my stomach, in my abdomen, and then the whole air situation uh, as well. So it is common, it is normal, it's it's part of the surgery and part of your recovery. Um, so that for me lasted maybe about five days. Once it was completely gone, I was like, okay. I did lose some pounds because I ended up having to only eat very little because again i didn't know how my stomach was going to respond um the pain from my incision was very annoying it was it was more annoying and it was making me annoyed and i just had to be laid down so i opted which i never do i opted for drinking the tylenol with coating and that wrecked havoc in my stomach i have gastritis so that really irritated and aggravated my stomach and I ended up having to go to the hospital nothing to do with the surgery um, if you have sensitivity to uh, or you have gastritis or sensitivity to these strong medicines do as much as you can to hang in there the, the, it'll go away um, apply ice hi you want to say hello you want to say hello you want a treat you want a treat you want a treat do you want to say hi? Anyways, um, so yeah, I I ended up going to the hospital three times for that pain because it got bad, okay? But again, nothing to do with the surgery. Had I not taken Tylenol, I would have been fine. As far as the surgery, I was fine, okay? Nothing else was wrong. Um, over the time and for the incision site, I did wear ice, okay? I did, well, I did apply ice, sorry, I said wear. I did apply ice and I did um, kind of do that frequently throughout the day because normally when there is a wound and you put something cold over it, it activates the circulation and the healing process. So it helps heal faster, okay? And again, they gave me ice in the hospital as well. So I continued to do that. My very first night, I did sleep sitting down because, again, my pain from the surgery site was very annoying to me. It was just like a burning sensation that I personally was not okay with, I was frustrated with. 
and that's the reason why I took the Tylenol 3 <laughs> but I said you know what I'm gonna have to sleep sitting down so that was just to get up better without hurting myself so basically what I did is you can see behind here that's my corner all I did was pile up some pillows right there and I put something under my legs high enough to keep me kind of like my legs like this if you guys can get me so my butt was right here my pillow was right here and my legs were like this that helped me stay in position throughout the night to fall asleep if you don't have that issue of getting up and you feel like your pain is um, manageable by all means you can lay flat I chose to sleep sitting down and I also chose to use pajamas that were just one piece let me show you guys I used this okay I bought this at Walmart for six dollars this is what I used it's just a long pajama blouse and this is what I used because again uh, you just had surgery uh, you want to be careful how you sit how you get up and you have to use a toilet you know so I had to get up and that's exactly what I use so if there's anything that I recommend is you can sleep the first night sitting down or the second however you feel for sure the first get yourself some gowns like this that are really long um, easy access to use restroom you don't have to bend down to grab anything you don't have to bend up to bring up pants a whole lot more comfortable a lot more um, comfort in that sense okay so the ice the pajamas sleep sitting down on the first day um, you can eat very lightly if you're not vomiting after surgery and you don't have uh, an intolerance to the anesthesia medication and stuff and you're fine slowly start incorporating your foods okay I was not told what to do I just went little by little and I did lose 12 pounds because I was eating very 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 little because of my whole gastritis and when that happens it's quite normal so I'll show you guys my wounds so you guys can see them you guys can see my stomach it was quite um, bloated from the air and other than that my experience was fine it probably took me about just like a week to start feeling better um, but also keep in mind my gastritis flare played a huge role in recuperating which again has nothing to do with the surgery surgery was fine surgery was successful no bleeding no emergency no complication as far as the incision sites ask your doctors depending on what you have i was placed a clear medical grade tape so um that didn't come off it slowly started peeling um you're not supposed to submerge yourself in the tub so i took a shower in the tub but I didn't I only sat down and I only let the water come under my belly button so I can shower myself correctly um, I could have done it standing but I preferred just taking my time to shower and that's exactly how I continued showering in the tub but just no water above or even close to my belly button because that was the first incision site um, the water will run through the the stickiness and the glue or whatever it is will eventually start peeling slowly it starts peeling do not remove it you'll go to your two-week pre-op post-op sorry and your doctor will remove it if you have anything however for me by the time i went to my my post-op my incision stuff was kind of already done but i will say the one from my belly button did come off a little before more like on the early side and it was still open okay so that's what i'm saying don't touch don't move um don't use soap in that area until after it's completely sealed and closed okay um no lifting no pushing no carrying uh do things cautiously slowly at your own pace and yeah i hope that this video um comes across to you guys and again if you guys feel like you want to hear anything or you have any questions please let me know um leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to follow the bear pantry show here on uh youtube she does have an instagram her videos were very helpful i felt they were very informational and i felt that they were very comforting to be honest because again we run into so many articles and so many topics out there and 
experiences and opinions of people trying to tell you no don't do it yes do it no it's the best thing i did it's the worst thing i did and everybody's experience is different so do it for yourself don't let anyone influence your decision it is your body you make the choice i personally chose to get my gallbladder out because the doctor said whether you get this taken out now or when you form stones it's gonna go out so why set yourself up for uh an emergency situation right so that is i believe that's basically it now those of you that are wondering i've been happy since i've been able to eat everything i normally eat yes i still steer away from fried foods i occasionally have them but i have no digestion issues i have no um heartburn i have no reaction because at this at the time that i got my surgery i was already having like reactions to white bread to so many things that i was like oh my god what's going on this is not normal this is not me um so again there are things that can be eliminated like that i feel so much better i am so happy i'm eating anything i want with moderation i eat very normal i don't have a specific diet i don't have a specific thing uh, to eat however i will say just eat healthy um, with greasier street food be very cautious um, try to control limit and watch your meals around that section <laughs> of your eating habits and um, if you're wondering if i regret my decision i don't i don't regret it at all i am so glad that i did it i'm so happy now i know that i will never experience this pain again and yeah that's basically it guys i got my surgery do i recommend yes i do i know a lot of people that refuse to take it out because you know it's your organ and this and that and some people are just against surgeries and stuff like that and which i totally understand but honestly like i feel amazing i feel i feel i feel amazing and i'm so happy that i'm able to eat whatever i want like i've been eating everything all the stuff i used to eat i've been eating it and i've been fine not one day have i had bad digestion um uh, heartburn or bloating or anything at all okay so please do not go for what someone tells you your experience will be different and again i want this to be a documented video for anyone out there that is researching videos for gallbladder removal and all that stuff there but again that's it i'm done yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to go to the bear pantry show and subscribe to their channel she has beautiful content but as well amazing content as well as uh informational about her gallbladder surgery as well thank you bye